All right, so let's have a talk about this Mazza. This is the new Enduro Race Mazza. So I've tested the Mazzas before. I tested the Enduro casing. I tested the trail casing, which was a little bit bouncy. And uh, I always found the rubber was a little bit too hard as well. Uh, a little bit flimsy in that trail casing. Enduro casing, a much stronger tire. A um, little bit rough, a little bit, uh, a little bit choppy, not super supple and the grip isn't really, uh, or the rubber quality isn't really there. The grip is there, the, the tread pattern is killer. On this, on the Enduro, on the Trail, they're all killer. The tread pattern is excellent, but I think the quality of rubber isn't there. So enter this new Enduro, they've gone a much softer rubber. So the sides are still a little hard, but definitely soft and compliant. And the tops are like a, I've heard somebody say that they're a 38A, so quite soft. They feel like the same, they feel pretty much identical to this. Uh, so this is the Asagai Max, Max Grip, which I've just chucked on, I've just swapped them over. Um, this tire, XO Plus Max Grip, is much more supple than this tire. And this tire is a little more supple than the original Mazda Enduro. So, Softer rubber, more grip, more uh, more confidence. But it's just, I think the quality, so the softness of rubber is there now. I've definitely got that. That's what I was looking for. I was looking for a softer rubber. But now that I've got this softer rubber, it still feels like the quality of rubber isn't up there with what this is. Uh, and it's certainly casing over the overall tire, the overall package of the tire is definitely less supple than this. So this at 22 PSI, no insert, versus this at 22 PSI, no insert, you feel a lot more trail through your hands. It feels like your bars are a bit stiffer with this tire. Um, in order of robustness, standing this tire up, it kind of just, just kind of collapses on itself. Whereas the XO Plus will stand, feels a little bit more consistent, like it's the same thickness throughout the entire casing. Whereas this has got like thick, really thick bits in here, in the walls, and then it goes a little thin again, and I think it's got a thick bit on the top as well. Uh, quite a strong bead, so the bead's good. But for me, it's just not supple enough. I mean, if Maxi's never existed, this tire would be killer. The grip is phenomenal. The just the way the tread pattern works is excellent. Really, really gives you a heap of confidence. But the only thing holding me back from running this tire now is the hand fatigue. Just a little bit more feedback in the hands than I do on a Maxi's tire. Now, Asagai is definitely not my preferred tire. I don't like it. I love the grip on the top. I love all of that, you know, from basically from the inside of the cornering knobs all the way across is just superior to everything else that I've ridden. Uh, Super supple, heaps of grip. But when you get on that edge, it's just not there for me. I don't trust it. I don't trust it like a DHF, and I certainly don't trust it like I trust this. Uh, so that's only there in the meantime until I get another day. I'm just waiting on the max grip. Uh, the shop's getting me on in, so. Uh, max grip DHF will be here soon. I'm gonna go back to the XO. I know I said I wasn't gonna, but I'm gonna go XO max grip DHF again, but I'm gonna put my Cush Core light. So I've got a Cush Core XC, so the light one. Um, I'm going to put that in the front as well. So maybe that'll protect it a little bit more, but if I cut it, I cut it. It is what it is. I just like that front end. Another thing is the weight on this tyre. So for how robust it is, when I run it, being that it felt harsh at 22, I ran it at 21 and I ran it at 20. 20 is way too like, it's just, it doesn't have any real side wall support. Even though it's got the protection, it doesn't have the support because it goes thick and then thin so it doesn't carry the support all the way up the tire so that doesn't really work for me didn't wasn't really uh you know the softer pressure didn't really work it's no different to go on softer yeah you know, if i go 21 20 on this i'll get the the same thing so 22 is killer uh 23 is killer i could even go to 24 on a maxis i definitely couldn't go to a 24 on this without it giving me a fair bit of hand feedback um so I just don't think that their quality of rubber is there. I don't think the quality of rubber, the softness is there. The quality isn't quite there. 
and the casing's still a bit weird. So Mazza, you're so close. You're so you're making incremental improvements every time they bring this tire out, Vittoria. And uh, yeah, the tread pattern's the best. The tread pattern is one of the best tread patterns I've ridden, I think. It can kind of, it's more active. Like if you're leaning a little bit, it'll pull you this way. If you're leaning a little bit, it'll pull you that way. Whereas a DHF will keep you straight. You can just trundle straight. If you want to move, you make it move and it'll go exactly where you want to go. But otherwise, it'll stay straight. It'll track a really, really good straight line in sketchy stuff. This one is more active, more a little bit more like the DHR2, a little bit more lively. So uh, I like it. I loved it when I first got it. Uh, and I was thinking, you know, maybe my fork needs a service. It's just a little harsh on the hands. Um, so I put the DHF back on an old DHF, pretty clapped, and it was smooth again. I thought, oh, you know, it's, it might be the tire. Let me service the fork. So uh, two weeks ago, I serviced the fork, and then last week, I put this tire back on. So I serviced the fork, run the DHF, then put this tire back on to just to see where we're at and, uh, and see if it was more the fork than the tire. And again, this, in, this introduced more hand feedback than the DHF was. So I ran this for a bit with the hand feedback, and then I've taken it off and put the acid guy back on yesterday and did a couple of laps yesterday and much smoother. Definitely smoother. Still not trusting that edge. It's killer all the way up until, you, until it starts to go. So the acid guy, I'm starting to call them acid guy crashes. So an acid guy crash is you're coming through and you're leaning in, you know, you're leaning into that turn and then the front end just goes underneath you you just and it just goes underneath you that's an acid guy crash to me so i assume the crypto tail is kind of uh similar to that the continental i've actually got a crypto tail here that i i can test that i'm going to test uh but i rode that briefly and it felt good it felt like it had a fair bit of grip but maybe again a little bit of hand fatigue so i won't know till i put it on this bike that was on a different bike so I'll put that on this after riding a little bit with my standard combo again. So I'll get rid of this uh, acid guy. I'll put the Max Grip DHF on, ride that for a little while, and then I'll chuck the Crypto Tile straight on. So I'm fresh, fresh for calibrated back to the tire that I love, and we'll see how that Crypto Tile goes. It feels like a hard rubber. It feels like it's like a 50A rubber or something. Uh, good tread pattern. It's kind of like the acid guy tread pattern, but with more of a. Um, it almost looks like an aggressor. Uh, side knob. So it might be good, might not be. On my corners track, it felt like I could get a good uh, bite into the turns, but now that everything's drying up and hardening up and kind of loosening up on the surface around here, we'll see how it goes. Uh, but for now, I'm still DHF Max Grip Aggressor Rear or DHR2 Rear. Um, I kind of want to go heavier tyres, I kind of want to just go DH and DH, like DH casing front and DH casing back, but I know it's just going to be a slug and it's going to suck for climbing and you know, you spend three minutes descending and 25 minutes climbing, I don't want the climbing to be horrible, so, um, but that's it for the Mazza, that, for me that's it for the Mazza, I'm happy with it, but it's just a little bit too much hand fatigue for me, so uh, let me know what you think, I know there's a lot of guys running this tyre now. Uh, this newer improved tire because it is definitely an upgrade on the old Mazza, but I don't know if it's more robust than the old Mazza Enduro casing. I don't know if it is. I just think they've put the protection in different places. This weighs 1300 and it's about 1310, 1315 grams, 1315 grams on my scale versus this one, which is 1200 grams for the XO Plus. Uh, and it doesn't feel any more strong or robust it just feels a little harsher so um i think you can get better for your weight for your for your grams you can get a better tire um a double down dhf a double down acid guy or a double down dhr2 uh all come in under that 13 10 or whatever and uh would all be more supple would all be a little more supple and maybe a little more protective i don't know i don't know i never cut it i never it doesn't show any signs of any hits or cuts or any deterioration on the rubber itself if we get close on the rubber itself we can see if we can get a little zoomy on it it's not too bad it still looks brand new um, but it will chew out way faster 
than the old uh, in the old enduro casing. So that's it. A little bit of wear. Not terrible.